So it seems like Halloween and Party City have finally put Halloween back into Halloween. And what do I say when I say this? Well, this year so far for 2022, we have seen pretty much every major retailer's new lineup for Halloween 2022. We started out with Lowe's, then we saw Party City, and just recently we saw Home Depot. But we are still waiting on one major retailer that we all know and love for Halloween, and that is Spirit. Now, as of recently, and I have been lurking in the background, looking around, seeing everything that's been going on, there seems to be a major leak war going on. And it seems like Spirit has still not played their final chess piece. But it seems like their plans have already been foiled. Wanna cry? Now why do I say this? That is because of the leaks that were dropped by many leakers who were just sick and tired of waiting on Spirit Halloween to finally drop what we all hoped they were going to drop. These leaks had a lot of interesting things to at least say the least um, and probably things we still have not seen yet so as of right now it seems like party city and home depot have the upper hand and i say that because home depot and party city brought back original nostalgia that we used to experience back then Back when I was younger, I experienced some incredible, incredible life sizes in Halloween displays in stores. Every prop was violent or bloody or spooky or silly spooky or silly scary or something like that. Had blood on it, extra detail, came with latex and, uh, and it, they were actually genuinely good props. Now I'm saying this because Home Depot this year and Party City impressed me tremendously. And honestly, I was not paying much attention to the Home Depot until as of recently. The leaks, in my opinion, were okay at the time when Home Depot first got leaked. Back when Home Depot had their leaks leaked out back in like April. And I, at first I was not very hyped. Um, I thought a lot of the animatronics would look I would be kind of like I guess you could say cheap uh, I thought they would probably be pretty bad but when the leaks when when all the new announcements dropped and all of the amazing videos dropped I was amazed um, there were a lot of things I wasn't expecting uh, like the standing six-foot witch that we all thought was going to be a lunging prop it was not anything compared to what we thought it was going to be in fact it looked way more impressive to me when i actually saw the video with legitimate head turning movements mouth movement and great audio the goblin and this six foot standing witch reminded me of classic props that were made by jimmy back in the early 2000s and speaking of jimmy it seems like Jimmy has also made a legitimate comeback, and I do believe I was officially right on this. This is the year Jimmy finally has made a mild comeback, and I say that because we have recently finally gotten some videos of the Oogie Boogie life-size animatronic. And you all, this was one of the best animatronics I have seen so far made by Jimmy. On top of that, we have the Scary Clown, we got a remade Michael Myers, which doesn't look bad at all, but sadly has the ringtone, a really decently good-sized Jason Voorhees, which is probably pretty dang good considering the fact that we haven't seen a good life-size Jason in a while. On top of that, we also got some other animatronics, such as the 12-foot mummy, and these animatronics, while they weren't officially Jimmy, they were also assisted by another company, but it's a right direction for Jimmy. And on top of that, we also saw all of the new lineups for Party City. Party City had brought the gore back into Halloween, in my personal opinion. All of the animatronic props that Party City is selling this year are incredible, in, in my opinion. All of the animatronics, my all-time favorite being that girl in the straight jacket with the box around her head that electrocutes her. That is one of the most violent looking props I have ever seen in my life and I eat, I eat that stuff up, I guess you could say. 
um, the possessed girl, the raccoon popping out of the garbage can, all of it looks incredible. And I think Party City did an amazing job at bringing the nostalgic gore factor back into Halloween, like Halloween Express and Spirit Halloween used to produce back in their primes. And Home Depot brought originality back into Halloween with all of their new animatronics that they purchased uh, in order to put into their stores this year, things that we have never seen before. Things we have never seen. And I am very impressed with that. But that leaves the major, major burning question in the back of my mind. Spirit and Halloween, what happened? Now, I feel a little inspired by Haunt Former's past video that he recently made regarding Spirit Halloween. Every year it feels like Spirit Halloween is just having issue after issue. It feels like all their props are pretty much the same in my personal opinion. Last year was not a bad year. It was the first year in a while we hadn't seen a lot of like clowns. But sadly due to the leaks it seems like we're just going right back to the circus idea. And the way I can remember, the way Hauntformer explained it, is that it just seems like a lot of the animatronics that are produced at Spirit nowadays doesn't match the themes that they made back in the early 2000s. But instead, we're having to see clowns and tiki islands and stuff like that. But with the leaks that, that have been shown to the public, there are, uh, there are some okay things in my opinion. But it all, like Haunt Former said, seems very corporate based. And it's very sad to honestly see. Um, these leaks, in my opinion, really disappointed me because I was really expect having high expectations for Spirit this year. Um, but yet we are just getting a bunch of clown props again and horrible ghost or crazy girl props that have no gore. It feels like Spirit has always been trying to go away from the gore. And it always seems to me like when a big company goes commercial, kind of like Spirit right now with the Spirit Halloween movie, while it is a good idea, it always feels like things like that just go down for the worst. We can take the idea of Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's was an amazing game. The first game was awesome. The second game was very, uh, I guess you could say action-packed. It, it was kind of scary, but it was very fast-paced and everybody ate up the click team uh, I guess you could say motive and it, it seems like once once Scott got a lot more publicity at that time Five Nights at Freddy's started to dwindle down in their scare factor and that's because kids get into certain things kids love colors kids love uh, characters cre creative characters animatronics things that are animated things that are fascinating that fascinate them and when the kids get involved it seems like the companies always go downhill after that and it's because of the fact that I do believe that their main source of uh, revenue is honestly the adults because while kids are all you know kids are important it just feels like that they always pamper to the kids and it feels like these animatronic companies or these other companies that used to make good quality I guess you could say products for their fan base end up becoming I guess you could say commercial or too friendly or they lose passion because now it's at this point it's just an everyday kind of thing um, and I feel like that's what's really happening with spirit right now and spirit to me right now is just going down that commercial route especially considering the fact that they're getting a movie now I feel like they just don't care for uh, what the people have to say because they're so well off at this point if they're if they're able to produce a movie that they don't really need the audience to tell them what they need to do and it's a sad thing because uh, a lot of customers want to see spirit halloween succeed but sadly it's not and it's not going to be able to go against their comp their competitors uh, even though they try to act like they are the massive competitors uh, and they are the winners this year i i don't think the crown goes to spirit i think the crown would probably be in my opinion shared between home depot and party city um just because both of them brought back an aspect of old Halloween nostalgia for, I guess you could say, somebody like me, um, and brought back the gore, the the uh, the originality, and the creativity. 
um, instead of just bringing back the everyday, every year kind of characters we always see back in the day. But besides that fact, I'm hoping that, you know, I mean, we haven't seen animatronics from Spirit yet, so I can't judge right off the bat. I thought Home Depot would be a bust this year, in my personal opinion at the time. But after I saw everything, I started realizing that Home Depot this year has probably had one of their most successful years so far. And I love the creativity they brought this year to the table. Same with Party City. Party City definitely upped their um, game, and they brought a bunch of gore and horror back into Halloween as well. And I can appreciate that. I hope Spirit does change for the better. I hope they stop making corporate-based decisions and start making decisions on what truly makes Halloween Halloween. And if we as a community can just continually voice our opinions, hopefully Spirit Halloween will change. Again, we'll have to wait and see what the animatronics do, what they say, how they, how they perform in public, because you can't always base everything off of just appearance alone. Sometimes they can do cool things and you just don't know it. But, again, this is just an opinion video and it's a video pointing out the pros and the cons of what Home Depot and Party City did compared to what I don't believe Spirit is doing. So anyways, you all, I'd love to hear your comments and opinions in the comments below. Um, tell me what you all think about this year. Did Home Depot and Party City win this chess game of Halloween this year? If so, Tell me in the comments who you think won. Anyways, you all, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. This is Jimmy Bones, signing off. I will talk to you guys in the next video. See ya.